All right, cool. To the gate. Infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up, too? Nah, he's in on it. It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. No. Just more lies. It's true. Goto. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times, but you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Well, I think they're brother and sister. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Mr. Ida, for you to ask for me personally, I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An interlocutor update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you, there is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power, but there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morisan, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. Son, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. So he said. DD426 into number 14. Or. I'll put it into number 15, Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, 
Akun will know it too. So Mr. Ida tricked her? Well, it's not really her fault then. Well, it is, but... I mean, it is because she didn't put it into her own Sentinel, but still. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Because only you know the password. Only you can prevent forest fires. We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. Try and remember. Aikun? That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel good, refreshed, peaceful even. Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. The memories you implanted in her, what are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the Sentinels and the Gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, Juro. Let's go home.
Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. I remember now. You live inside me. That day at the shrine, you jumped out of that robot and possessed me. What do you think I am, a ghost? I had nowhere else to go. If it were up to me, I would have picked a more welcoming host. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. He's trying one more time. Motherfucker. No, I shouldn't. If I run to the nurse's office, I'll put Shinonomi Senpai at risk too. Yeah, fuck her. She'll lose it all anyway. Miss Morimura. <gasps> Whoa. Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Excuse me. Oh, Karabikun. Are you a stripper? Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? That Shibakun was inside of me? Well, or rather, Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? Yes. I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. Kurabikun? <sighs> Kurabikun? If I run to I'll put Sheena no Am I supposed to go back go back into the room or something? Or am I Kurabekun? Fuyusaka san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge sixteen years into the past. These must be Shibakun's memories. Or rather the other If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. Where have I seen him before? That guy in my dream, he called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. As Shinonome Senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android, so that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? <clears throat> That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Suka. Okino. Uh, you 
are Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426, face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. I would never... to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. I would never do Furthermore, that. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <laughs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. Juro Izumi, take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is he's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <sighs> What? An evacuation order? It's on the news? <sighs> Kaiju. Oh, looks like you should have listened to him. Instead of putting him in jail like a fucking dumbass. Hmm? Everything about that? Huh? Looks like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino? I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... You got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. 
But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this, to think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. <laughs> Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Chihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn him into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow, I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I've found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now, but he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. But, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time, but it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju daimos. A daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh, there was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? That's it, Hijiyama. Huh? You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun. What was that log all about? You want to find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. <sighs> well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. 
He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize. You can be surprisingly sharp at times, Ijiyama. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness. I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me, foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. What happens? I intend to fulfill that promise. Just as you said, a kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action, too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. <clears throat> Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle them alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nano machines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, 
I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. But that's going to do it for me tonight. And yeah, beyond that, thank you everybody who came out. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.